I'm gonna walk you through the five very basic pieces of information that you need in order to begin your AC to DC power supply selection. A lot of engineers struggle with this. So let's break down the five pieces of information that are critical. The first is the input voltage. So an AC to DC power supply converts an AC voltage to a DC voltage. So we wanna identify the AC voltages that you're gonna require in your design. Now that may be a range of AC voltages where you're operating in different countries and you want an 85 to 264 universal AC input, or maybe it's just low line where you're operating in North America and you need 110, 115, 120. The second piece of information that's very critical is what are your required DC output voltages? Do you require the AC to DC power supply to convert the AC voltage to one single voltage or multiple DC voltages? And what are those DC voltages? Now that we know the voltage conversion that we need, what's the required max output power or current for each of those voltages? So you can measure that in watts or amps. And in addition to that, what's the continuous current and is there any peaks? Is there a peak at startup? Are there peaks during the operation? You wanna have that identified also so that we're uh, selecting the right and properly rated power supply. The fourth piece of information is the type of form factor that you prefer or even require. Now, power supplies are offered in a lot of different types of form factors. I'll give you some examples here. Uh, one is an open frame power supply. Another would be a chassis with a cover, which is a little bit more robust. Additionally, we have external power adapters, and that's where if you want to take the power supply and have it external from your system. We also have power supplies that are DIN rail mountable, so you can mount that power supply onto a DIN rail. And in addition to that, you can select an onboard power supply where you can mount and that power supply onto a circuit board. And when you're looking at those form factors, you also want to take into consideration any kind of mechanical restrictions you have in terms of size and be able to identify that so you're making a proper selection. The fifth and final basic piece of information that is really important is be able to articulate the type of application and environment that that power supply is going to operate in. If you have that piece of information and you're working with a qualified power supply professional, they're gonna be able to guide you and walk you through any safety and compliance requirements that you might require that you may not be presently aware of. And in addition to that, they'll be familiar with any type of special features and functions that might be required for you to operate in your application. Now, once you have a handle on that five basic pieces of information, you're ready to begin searching through the tens of thousands of AC to DC power supply models that are offered in the marketplace. Now, typically that takes an engineer about 11 hours to do all the research once they have identified the specs for their power supply. But alternatively, you got a better option. You could contact TRC Electronics and our professional power supply team will walk you through the information that you provide and will help you make that perfect selection and will reduce what would normally take 11 hours into a matter of minutes.